The so-called coronation mantle is one of the most important and valuable exhibits of the imperial treasury, the Schatzkammer in Vienna, Austria. The semicircular red samite mantle has been produced at the court atelier of Norman King Roger II in 1133-34. It's divided into two symmetrical parts by a vertical pampini form of a palm tree. Each part contains the same image motif. An oversized powerful line is holding with its strong pose a conquered hemmed camel down to the ground. The animals as well as the palm tree with its leaves and tendrils are embroidered with monochrome gold threads. Double row of pearl strings form contour lines and set up the gilded motifs from the red background. An embroidered ribbon with enamel, plates, jewels and flourishing in arabesque shaped motifs made of white pearls runs in the upper register of the mantle. In the lower register from right to left we see a 5 meter long cubic dictus in arabic embroidered from gold threads which is framed by two pearl strings. For a long time the mantle was mistakenly taken for Charles the Great's coronation mantle. However, we now know from the Arabic inscription on the hemline of the mantle that it was created in the 12th century, probably by Arab artists and artisans in the royal statue of Roger II in Palermo. The 5 meter long embroidered Kufi inscription reads as follows. This mantle was worked in the most magnificent royal clothing workshop and is connected with the desire for fortune, respect, splendor, perfection, might, superiority, approval, prosperity, beauty, the fulfillment of all desires and hopes, felicities, days and nights, without cease or change, with authority, with honor and felicity, assurances of trust, reverent care, protection, good destiny, freedom from harm, triumph and livelihood in the city of Sicily in the year 528. The Islamic Hijra date corresponds to 1133-34. That's why it is not possible that the mantle was used at the coronation of Roger II on 25th of December 1130. A question now arising is, how did the mantle enter in the possession of the Holy Roman Empire? Roger's daughter and heritress Constance the I of Sicily married the Roman German Emperor Henry VI in 1186, and so the mantle came into the possession of the Holy Roman Empire. In 796, the mantle was brought from Nuremberg to Vienna to protect it from Napoleon's troops, and subsequently remained in the possession of the Habsburgs. Although the mantle was intended for the Christian Norman King Roger II, numerous Islamic motifs and symbols are visible in the work. It makes for better understanding if we keep in mind the historical situation of Sicily at that period. From the 9th to the 11th century, the Greek-speaking population of Sicily was under Arab rule, governed by different Islamic dynasties. After this, the Normans came from the far north of the Europe with the intention of conquering and liberating Sicily from the Arabs. King Roger II proclaimed the Kingdom of Sicily in 1130 and was crowned king in the same year. One of the motifs beside the palm tree in the Arabic inscription is the lion and camel motif. Art historians tend to interpret the two lions in the mantle as a symbol of 
triumph of the Norman ruler, while the camel symbolized the subjugated Arabic enemy. Therefore, the lions are designed significantly larger than the camels, and the defeated camels lying on the ground are disproportionately small to emphasize the symbolic meaning. Today, the magnificent coronation mantle is one of the most spectacular and exciting showpieces in the Schatzkammer. On the one hand, this is due to the precious material. The mantle is made of rare fabric and adorned with gold threads, enamel plates and over 1000 pearls and also to it is outstanding artistic quality and aesthetic full of harmony and symmetry. On the other hand, it is due to its historical significance as a symbol of power and splendor of the Holy Roman Empire.